me out with this so i'm going to be basically going through the recording and uh going through the voiceover as well so this is a 70 amp battery and uh you can see he's using a 10 millimeter socket to get the top bar off it's pretty much straightforward and you can see here that it is 760 cranking amps cold cranking amps so I'll be basically showing you how to swap this out quite quickly. I've got the same battery right here. It's a Vata, so 70 amps as well. But this is 640 cold cranking amps. So really the cranking amps, the higher they are, uh, the better it is for the cranking amps because in colder conditions, your car is likely to start up. Now me being in the UK, I had an older E87 that had a lower cranking amp. So I had something around lower than 600 cold cranking amps and that didn't really cause an issue throughout the time I had the older E87 so this one is a 760 again change, changing that one out right now he just took off the ground um, wire off now he's going to go for the positive next so yeah with the um, battery change it's going to be a very simple thing to do so he's taking the ground off first always take the ground off first What was that a clip there or something? You have to take the bracket off. The okay, so the, right. Oh, so the right. So the bracket there in the middle, on the sides, you have to take them off to release that. And then you've got the whole casing coming off right here. So, just to clarify, guys, this is a wet lead acid battery. It's not an AGM battery. So, um, you don't have to worry about start stop. If your car doesn't have start stop, you don't have to really worry about this um, battery registration. However, me, for the purpose of the video, I am going to register the battery through Carly. And uh, my battery is also 70 amps, so it's going to be like for like. And uh, ideally, if you are going to be putting a different battery in a higher amp battery, then you should basically try to tell the car registering it, telling that you got a higher amp battery. So in this case, it's exactly the same, 70 to 70. Alright, so there was one um, bracket that was there on the side. Again, it's a 10mm socket, and you just took that out. That was on the right side, and uh, that is heavy. There you go. So that pops out. That's to let uh, any escaping gas release, so make sure to put that back in. That's going to be on your positive side all the time. So he's just putting it back on the new battery right now. Terminals. I'm going to put it right back in. So I chose Vata because I know that from George Oster's video that BMW used to use them, and probably they still are now. Uh, one of the manufacturers for BMW batteries, so Vata is the one I'm using. There's other batteries as well, like Bosch, Exide, but I'm going to be using Vata for this one. So he's putting the bracket back on. There's a um, few slots there. I probably just saw about a few seconds ago in the video. There's like four or five slots there, and uh, this allows you to mount the bracket. So he's just screwing it back on right now. Depending on the size of the battery, yep. you can adjust the way the bra bracket sits. Okay, so basically because my one is... see that hole there as well. Oh yeah, yes, here we go. So basically because my one is a smaller battery, it doesn't fill up the whole size, um, the whole fitting, isn't it? Yeah, so if you even have a smaller one, the yep. bracket will... Oh, it can go in further, yep, yeah. yep. So he's using a ratchet. Again, these are all 10, 10 millimeters, isn't it? Yeah. I do have an extension here. Right for you. So make sure you have your tools, guys. Here we go. Oops. Yeah, it's very tight on, I'm telling you. <laughs> I 
make sure you guys have your tools organized as well because my one just managed to just pop out i'll fix that later so anyways use an extender right here taking it off kind of now So the positive terminal goes in first and the bracket's going in now. The center bracket there. The center casing basically. So it's the positive terminal going in first, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I did not know that's another extender that's on another extender. Yeah, it's the same thing, but it's got like a port at the end. Oh, okay, cool. And now we're having the negative terminal come back on. So the battery just came on right now. You can see the light just come back on. And we're pretty much done. Putting the final brackets on. And now he just dropped the, the nut. <laughs> Quick tip, make sure that when you're never you are um, getting your nuts back in place, make sure you have a firm grip on it. As you can see, we just have to quickly uh, lift the uh, battery again just to get the bolt that we just dropped. Oh, quick thing I want to show the guys here. You see this... Um, let me see if I can get that zoomed in right here. That's where the gas ex escapes from, right? This bit there? Yeah, yeah. So make sure that you have that inserted properly. Not all the batteries are undid. Yeah. Find the bolt? Yeah. Cool. Alright, so now we've got the brackets back in. Just tightening them up. We're pretty much done here. And the next process will be registering the battery. Right guys, we are now in Kali and I'll show you guys how to basically register your battery. Now at the moment you can probably see that my health on the diagnosis is very bad. That's another story, we'll hopefully be addressing all of that. Um, so let's go to features and we'll scroll down and we've got something called battery. Once you go in there, read for the instructions, um, battery registration, change and register your car battery yourself, etc, etc. Um, continue to battery registration. Congratulations, this function is compatible for your car. Please read this carefully. Oh, well, guys, and be aware it says here turn the ignition on but do not have the engine running. It's very important that you guys take a note of that. So I understood this part. Press OK. And so here we are. We are in this uh, part where we're going to register a new battery. Now again, my one is a wet lead acid battery. It's not AGM. It's not a start-stop system where your engine automatically stops at a, um, when you, you know, stop at a traffic light or, you know, if your car basically stops at anywhere and it automatically shuts off the engine. So it's not a start-stop engine. So it's not AGM battery. Um, so my one's just basically a straight swap. Now, generally speaking, you shouldn't have to register a battery. That's what I've been told if you're doing with a standard wet lead um, acid battery. But... For this purpose of the video, I'm going to be registering this one. So, in my case, I do have a like-for-like -like battery. It's a 70 amp battery, and it should be exactly the same. So, I'm going to register the same battery. If you do register a new battery, the only difference you're going to see there is the amps that you need to choose there. So, register the same battery. Please connect your vehicle in order to use this function. Sure thing. So, at this moment, I need to turn the ignition on. I don't have the ignition on in this guy. Here we go, ignition is on. So there's your sound right there. Connect. Make sure your Bluetooth is on both sides, your phone and the adapter itself. Right. Here we go. We'll go to all features. Just pick me back out of the um, 
app in the beginning for some reason so going back to all of this understood okay register the same battery so we're gonna read the battery at the moment here we go so we've read out the battery register battery battery registration finished successfully fantastic so there you go guys this is how you register a battery your car will get the right amount of volts and uh, yeah if you guys enjoyed this video um, give it a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one